Uh, welcome everyone to the August yeah. meetup, uh, Accessibility New York. Thank you for coming. Uh, this is our August meetup. You know, we meet once a month, usually the first Tuesday um, of the month. This month, we could the second Tuesday. But uh, we will be, you know, always planning to have our meetups typically the first Tuesday of the month. And so, appreciate you all coming. Um, I'm Thomas Logan, one of the organizers of the meetup. Got Cameron Pinda here, also organizer, and Sean Laureate, who's not here right now, but our other co-organizer. Um, we're very happy to have Avi Golden here today. Uh, I met Avi at the Disability Pride Parade last month. So uh, New York City does a Disability Pride Parade. It was the third annual this year. It's very cool. It marches from Union Square um, to Madison Park. And um, it's a very good event. And I was very interested to meet Avi. You know, I've worked in the field for 15 years. I know very little about aphasia and you know how it affects people and some of the, the thoughts and considerations that we should take. So I think this is going to be a great talk um, and a, a new topic for us here at Accessibility New York. So please welcome uh, Avi Golden. Thank you very much. Um, all right. So two things. Number one, is okay not not now, but soon is okay to take a picture, like one or two take a pictures. Yes. Excellent. All right. Good. All right. So my name is Avi because it's right there. Um, a lot. Ten years ago, I have a stroke. Uh, before I was a paramedic, uh, and then later is a critical care paramedic, and later is a flight paramedic. About five, six, seven, eight years ago, and before that, I was EMT. Uh, Twenty years ago, um, at now, in the before, I was in full time at Columbia Presbyterian, and part time at Cl uh, North Shore at Columbia Presbyterian, but also um, a lot of stuff like Maimonides, Roosevelt, you know, stuff like that. A long time ago, I was going to Israel to study for Bar Ilan University. But in the evening, going to Magen David Adom, so you can see uh, there. Uh, and I, I was going to go to medical school. So before, um, I was, my father has uh, AV valve, is a prolapse. So I say, you know, I, and I have a prolapse as well, it's hereditary. So I say, you know what, before medical school, I, I am going to go to surgery. And in the surgery, I have, and that's it. Um, and in the surgery, I have a stroke resulting in aphasia. Um, so, so one year, I swear, one year, all I can say is Michael. I have no idea what Michael is, but is Michael all the time for one year, Michael, 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 and everybody laughing hysterically because who knows what is that, and, and that's fine because I was laughing as well, and, Michael, and still says Michael all day long, so it's great. Um, so also, Henry Bridges. So, Basically, three weeks, three months, I was in the bed, and one or two people helped me in the wheelchair, and then later, um, four or five months is uh, in the cane, and then later is no cane. But basically, everybody is different with aphasia. So like, uh, a lot of people have a wheelchair, and a lot of people is arms and legs is nothing. So everybody is different. Um, by the way, please ask me questions or comments or whatever. So yeah. Um, so I, I was I I was going to I was in the hospital for two months at Columbia Presbyterian, and two weeks after the stroke uh, is OT, PT, and speech pathology, uh, and then later is uh, North Shore Lij. So I have broke aphasias, uh, but also just saying uh, Wernicke is, is, is different and global, basically he, they don't have nothing is one or two words and that's it for the rest of your lives. So it's, uh, well, it's interesting. Um, <coughs> so, so, for so for me, uh, for example, I have uh, difficulty with like names or numbers or reading or writing lesson. For example, uh, speech pathologist, okay, I want to say dog and you repeat dog. I say, okay. So speech pathologist, I say dog and I say cat. I say, no, no, I meant dog. All right. 
that's fine. But next day later, speech pathologist says dog, and I say cat, and I don't realize the difference. And the speech pathologist says, you know, you, you meant cat, and you meant uh, dog. And I say, well, no, stop it, you know, who cares? Uh, and then next day later, uh, speech pathologist says dog, and I say dog. So basically, everybody, every for me is different. Uh, and I'm still studying, uh, I'm still studying every day uh, until, until now uh, I was going to Motor Greenfield as a speech pathology to s learn again uh, today. So, you know, it's every day, uh, but it's good. All right, good. Uh, but um, help me. So hearing the first sounds or command the cues, uh, nuance dragon. By the way, do you know Nuance Dragon as well? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, you can describe it. I don't know that I'm on here. Okay. So I, I will show you, and then you can... Uh, you can... Okay. All right, so this is... Uh, Nuance Dragon is, is a email. In the Nuance Dragon is right there. So I... Uh, I will, hi, my name is Avi, I will talk, and the Nuance Dragon listens and writes. All right, so it's, it's the same idea, but it's it, close, it's close, but I will email and I will, I will uh, email and then write, a, write it out and email back and write it out. So it's tough. It is tough, but thank God it's there, so it's good. Uh, so Lawrence, blah blah blah, um, is a speech pathology. Is okay. Um, is okay to read uh, right there. Yeah, can you read it? Yeah, please. Sure. Uh, Lauren Natari, speech pathologist, said, "When a person with aphasia is robbed of their aphasia is robbed of their speech." One of, their one of the first things I teach them is a different way to tell their family I love you. I ask them to squeeze my hand three times. I tell them, when you can't use your words, this is the way you can let them know you love them. Thank you. Uh, so for me, it's powerful. I mean, do you, you yeah. So yeah. Um, so three months I was in the hospital, four months again in the hospital, and then I go home. So uh, I go to the website to see, thank you, uh, a lot of stuff. So Adler National Aphasia Center uh, is in New York City. Uh, and sorry, national, right. And then Adler Aphasia Center is in New Jersey, 10 minutes away from George Washington Bridge. So it's very close by it. So I go as well twice a week. Uh, Mona Greenfield uh, is uh, Union Square, so I go twice a week six or seven hours twice a week, um, so it's great. Uh, ARC has a fa uh, aphasia, ARC is aphasia recovery connection. So David Dow is right here, 10 years ago, 10 years old, he has a stroke. Um, and then uh, Christine, no, Christine, uh, Hold on. <laughs> Caroline. Caroline is his de uh, mother. He, she then, they study with a speech pathology for basically 10 years now. And then now they speak around the world talking about aphasia. Um, and then H Hugginson, Christine Hugginson, she was a lawyer and studying, and then he, she has a stroke. So 10 years ago, uh, five years ago, 10 or six years ago, they had, they is new, uh, so Facebook, a facial recovery connection. So now it's 5,000 people. Half of them is uh, speech pathology and half of them is people with aphasia or doctors or nurses or uh, whatever. And, and it's very, very cool and, and stuff like that. So it's very cool. Um, Harvey Alter. Um, he has a stroke as well, 
So he goes to the hospital and he says, you know, the language is gone, but the music is there. So I want to sing a song. And the, the doctors said, okay, we'll see, you know. Uh, and now he goes uh, like five days a week. And a lot of people who has a stroke, who has aphasia, come and sing with uh, Harvey. So it's really very cool. And then uh, one and a half years ago, one and a half years after the stroke, I went to University of Michigan, um, six weeks intensive program, and it's very, very cool and fun, exciting. Um, so yeah. Okay. So that's me, uh, post-stroke, it's a high five. Uh, but also, is it very interesting? Here is smiling happy, and then two weeks after the stroke, now I do not know that, so it's good, and everybody is saying no is nothing, is forget about it, because it's, is, uh, um, the face is, uh, whatever, the blah, blah. Yeah, the blah, blah is blah, blah. But now I think it's smiling and happy. Um, I, I like sushi a lot. So Susie bought me a sushi, and I gobble it up. Um, and also, I was riding and stuff like that, and is just garbage, garbage, garbage uh, after this joke. Um, so yeah. And then North Shore LIJ. So uh, 1013 in New York City is help, help, help. So 1013, 1013, 1013. And EMS police fireman rushes for the bad man or whatever. So, uh, um, so a lot of people come, uh, workers, uh, friends, family. <laughs> OK, never mind. Oh, OK. Um, so again, workers, a lot of workers. Uh, fa uh, paramedics, poli uh, police, firemen, and e uh, friends, stuff like that. So uh, four months I was in the hospital, and then I go home. So I say, you know what, I want to go to read what is aphasia, because I have no idea what aphasia means. I mean, I know that it's aphasia, but it's like, I don't know. Well, yeah, so is a uh, paramedic textbook, and that is four, 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 lines, four words, uh, difficulty naming object correctly. So I say, you know, that's crazy. You know, it's like 1,000 pages and this is, <laughs> you know, small. Um, so thank God is uh, email and call and whatever. And thank God I come to uh, EMS or police at, with uh, speech pathology and speak about aphasia. Uh, so it's really cool. Um, so I like to go with, I like to go to Bronx Zoo a lot, a lot, a lot. So, I mean, you like the Bronx Zoo as well? Yeah, okay, good, because I like Bronx Zoo. So me and a lot of friends went to Bronx Zoo, and I was in that passenger, and I see the ambulance, uh, Columbia Presbyterian. I say, stop, Michael, Michael, stop, Michael, Michael, ambulance, stop. So uh, somebody else stop, and um, Danny and... Uh, Mike, who, who, he, who was working with me uh, together before the stroke, um, they said, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. And I say, Michael, Michael, Michael hello, Michael, Michael, what's going on? Hello. Um, so it was really cool. Uh, so yeah. Um, so National Aphasia Center is, uh, a tr so Elaine Gansry is a president, but also speech pathology. And Stephen Symbolic is right here. He, they s speak with EMS or hospital or uh, firemen about aphasia. Uh, and then one or two or three people who has aphasia speak about their story. Um, so for example, North Shore LIJ or Columbia Presbyterian uh, speak about aphasia with a speech pathology. and. Uh, me or one or two people who has aphasia spoke about aphasia. But also, um, for four years, two years, I was, I, I was 
not driving, but then later I was driving, so I, I is a lot of uh, driving or flying or uh, email, yeah, so like Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, uh, University of Michigan, uh, Fireman, or Suff Suffolk County, or Finney, or Stewart and Air Force, or uh, in Yushalayim, I was in the Yushalayim twice, and I was uh, spoke with Magen David Adom, so it was really cool. Or not. Okay. Um, also, I was in the, I spoke with the doctors and nurses as well. So, North Shore LIJ or Columbia Presbyterian. Uh, also, I was in uh, John Hopkins in Baltimore. And I'm again the Vida Dome, I mean, sorry, in Jerusalem with uh, Tzedek is talking, uh, the hospital. Right. Um, also, um, I was going to go to medical school. I mean, I was like right there, uh, and then I have a stroke. But uh, uh, half a year before, half a year, uh, I spoke with a medical school a resident about my story. Um, also, Gail is a speech pathologist. She spoke about aphasia, and Doctor Peter blah 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 is weird. Is really is a pediatric MD, and then he has a stroke as well. So he spoke about their, his story as well. So it was very, very cool. And then again, uh, OT, PT, and speech pathology student speak, uh, listen and then speak about, uh, ask questions, and uh, four or five people, for example, Yvonne or Albert, not Albert, Ken, that's Ken. Ed, uh, you know, talking about the, their story. Face-to-face uh, -face with aphasia, again, four people is a speech pathology, and uh, four people, sorry, three people is a speech pathology talking about aphasia, and uh, they, four people who has aphasia spoke about aphasia. Um, also, uh, like one month, one year ago, something again, I, Go to ASHA is a aphasia, public aphasia in Philadelphia, and I spoke with 4,000 people. Uh, it's really cool. And then also, you know, Lingrafica is right here. Is a like a text or aphasia access or you know stuff like that. So it's very, very, very cool. Uh, any questions so far? Okay. Um, so I was in the house. I was in the twice. I was in the Israel. I was fl I was in Israel, um, and um, Tova and Boaz is uh, is work. They is a girl wedding, but he they also has uh, is EMT uh, twice. Boaz and Tova is EMT, right? Uh, and also Bo Tova, he, she wrote a uh, paramedic textbook. Uh, and then inside is my story. And I did not know that. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so you, you, do you know uh, Hebrew? Because I have no idea. Okay, good. All right, good. So it's awesome. Uh, and then uh, I was I t I was talking and I was going to uh, Manhattan to speak with Candy. Candy, mo his mother uh, has she has a stroke. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away. But uh, they um, Candy wrote and video with my story. Uh, um, so it's very, very, very cool. Uh, again, same thing. Uh, author with Elaine Gantry or, or uh, Mona Greenville about uh, the words. So look it up um, or no, whatever you want. 
Uh, but it's, yeah. And then, uh, this is interesting. Tikon uh, Olam Ek Blah Blah is really cool. Um, is now in New York City uh, every year. So it's great. Is um, just a lot of people have different ideas. And uh, OT, PT, speech pathology, computers, and stuff like that to try to build things. And it's very, very cool. So look it up. Um, is very, very cool. Um, uh, also, I was, I am going to hospital to visit patients who have stroke or aphasia. So Joe um, is aphasia. So Joe and I spoke about their various other things. And um, Carly McIntyre, uh, he was an actor and then he has a stroke. So he wrote about uh, aphasia in the movie, and uh, he, he is really cool, so I go like three or four times a year, three or four times, and laugh hysterically and cry like one or two tears, but it's really cool. Um, so, you know, go ahead and look it up, it's uh, Amazon or CarlaMcIntyre.com. Um, Chappelle Chase is, uh, is a director, and then he has a stroke as well. He a long time ago was talking with Hillary Clinton also. So it was very cool. So that's it. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then th uh, uh, things I like to do. So riding, riding horses or uh, moonlighting or in the summer, whatever. Um, zip lining, I like zip lining a lot, so it was really cool. And I have five videos, so I can show you. It's awesome. Uh, paintball, I like paintball a lot. I, I like paint. I like to a lot. I like to go a lot of time. A lot of people, um, except for bungee jumping. I don't know why. Scoop, uh, s skydiving, no problem. Jumping, I hate jumping. I mean, uh, j jumping, not jumping. Right, whatever you said, you, yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Also, in Manhattan is West uh, Rifle and Puzzle, but I'm shooting and I'm score, so it's really cool. Uh, Helen State Hospital and Berkeley have has tons and tons of disability sport, and it's free, so you can go to call or email, and it's really very good. Also, I have a disability sport, so you can email or call me uh, or Facebook or LinkedIn, whatever, and I can email with you with disability support. Uh, so yeah, really cool. Uh, sailing, I love sailing a lot. Again, it's free, so a lot of people come and have a good time as well. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> Six people who is a passenger, two of them have wheelchair. They, I don't care. They doesn't care. I don't care. Whatever. Let's go have a good time, and it's free. So yeah. Uh, scuba in Bonaire, uh, in the pool, uh, disability, and then later a lot of people and me went to Bonaire, and swim, and it's really very cool. So it's really cool. Rock climbing. I like dogs a lot. In fact. In the future, I, well, I am getting a dog, a disability dog, so, I, so, but I pet them as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, disability boxing, hand cycling, um, surfing. Uh, the guy right here, he ha he was a. a pro at uh, surfing, and then he went to swimming uh, in the water, and the wave crushes him, and he has, uh, is, I forget her name, is, is, he has a wheelchair, he is a wheelchair, but he is surfing, uh, like really, with one or two people, help me, 
and now he go he is a president and he goes let's go have a good time in uh, United States he goes a lot of places and a lot of people who has disability come and have a good time and it's free again uh, I have a disability support so I can email so yeah sailing in Nyack a lot of people have a good time with sailing and then later is scuba dive, uh, lunch so it was really cool uh, skydiving or indoor skydiving so I can show you right here so this this is a uh, video Like, really <laughs> laugh. And then indoor skydiving, um, Kyle, who has aphasia as well, he uh, go to indoor skydiving with me and a lot of people and have a good time. So again, he, the, I have a, a video as well. Um, So it's very cool. In Yonkers, it's no big deal. It's half an hour away with car, but it's really cool. Thank you. Uh, uh, rowing, New York. Extreme sport. Again, um, no barrier summit. I will, we'll talk about later. Um, so I can show you the video. So, <laughs> there we go. he, the girl, the guy is the kid. He has a burn unit, burn it. Nice tip landing. Excellent. Okay, wait. This is one year. One month ago is No Berry Summit in Colorado, uh, Colorado, Utah, uh, Arizona. No, not really, not at all. But uh, very, very cool. In the Colorado in in the summer, I don't know why, but a lot of people, a lot of No Berry Summit is snow, a lot of snow. Do you understand? Okay, good, excellent then. <laughs> uh, So this is first time. Let's find out. Golf. Oh, so close. 
but um, uh, snowboarding and skiing. I like skiing a lot. Snowboarding, so a lot of stuff, or tennis. Um, snow snowboarding, no water ski. Uh, yet tomorrow I am going to water ski, uh, leap of faith. So you can come. It's really cool. Or next week, whatever. Or don't, whatever. Uh, hot air balloon. I don't know why, but in Vermont and snow and in in uh, zoo, you know. So it's cool. I like. I like it. I don't like. I don't like. I have no idea. Who you maybe yes, maybe no, but I don't like. I am liking it. All right, never mind. Uh, swimming, golf. So. Very interesting. This guy, three of them have no uh, come on. Blind. They have bl blind. See the dogs? Oh, sorry. The dogs right there. And then he they uh, is golf, like golf. I, I had no idea who or why, but yeah. Uh, archery, again, um, is for me is one-handed, so uh, you can see is the you can sit and is stand and then just one-handed. So it's very very cool. Uh, falconing, so it's really cool. And things to do like for example. Uh, Dancing or uh, the, I forget the name. I forget. Uh, really f uh, fast and furious. It was really cool. Uh, not rugby. Close. I don't. Is not rugby, but close. Um, yeah. And, and you know things to do. And then also a lot of people went and a lot of people go and have a good time. For example. Uh, Train show or Conan Hospital uh, Polar Bear Club. I was there twice, uh, three times, uh, in the snow. Um, natural history or uh, No Barrier Summit. No, again, No Barrier Summit is disability sport. So, four days um, in the win in the summer. In the uh, breakfast is have a good time with scubos whatever and then in the evening uh, speak with a lot of people about their story so it's very 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 cool so I go t three four times and it's powers and next year is in New York City so it's very cool um, uh, uh, walk on the Hudson also ability expo uh, unfortunately, is right here, but Ability Expo. Look it up. Next year, every year is in uh, in New Jersey, so look it up. It's amazing. So a lot of people come with disability and have a good time, and it's really cool. So yeah, and I like dogs again, you know. So whatever. Uh, uh, art or Intrepid. Again, No Barrier Summit, and then later. Uh, uh, stuff like that. So, for example, he, they, this is uh, No Barry Summit is, I forget her name, his name, he is blind. He, but he goes to Everless and climb. Is no blind, uh, is blind with like five or six different people and have a good time. Or uh, in, he goes to kayak, five rapid kayaks and diving. Like crazy, uh, no arms, no legs in the belly button, and he and him together go to Everless like crazy. Um, this guy, you know his name, the Bob Woodworth. Yeah, Bob Woodworth. Uh, he has a TBI. Uh, you know stuff like that. It's really very very cool. Again, uh, in New York City next year is in. Yeah, so look it up. It's awesome. Or I can, is disability sport, I can, yeah. All right, good. 
uh, and also aphasia recovery can Adler Aphasia Center has a play every year. Uh, last week is in, uh, I forget now. Oh, uh, anyway, yeah, uh, so it was really cool. <coughs> um, I was a paramedic and then I lost a paramedic because uh, I have a stroke, but I really, really want to go to maybe try, and um, I succeeded. So five years ago, I have a stroke, and now I was, I am in, I am still today is EMT. So it was very, very cool. So please email me or call me or Facebook me or LinkedIn me or don't call me again, whatever you want. Uh, and any questions? Yes. So for your. You said the first year of your speech was mostly saying Michael. Basically, um, yeah. What was sort of the breakthrough, or what was was it via a lot of training, or what, what was sort of your breakthrough moment? Well, everybody is different with aphasia. Um, so for me, basically, around about one year, all I can say is Michael, uh, or one or two words, and then slowly getting better every year, but it's very different. It's very Still, I still go to speech pathology four days a week every year, and, and still, like today, I was in the Mona Greenfield. So it's, it's, thank God it's slowly getting better, but, you know, everybody is different. So, yeah. Did you have, like, full memories to, like, basically during that year, like, to have a, a, a memory of the whole? Um, no, because, after the stroke, I was in the surgery, so I don't know whether I don't like um, one and a half month, one and a half weeks. I was in the is contra, in conscious, so I don't know uh, uh, whatever. In fact, maybe yeah, so, but then later I was I was in I was I was in I was I was waking up. And the doctor says, okay, I'm going to, I have, you have a tube, I can pull me out. So I said, I'm, I say in my head, thank you, doctor. I will think I was, thank you, doctor, to pull me out. And the doctor pulled me out and I said, Michael, Michael, Michael. And I said, you know, what the, what's going on? So I like cough and sneeze or whatever. And I do it again. And it's um, in my head. Thank you, doctor. And I says, Michael, Michael, Michael. So the doctor says, the surgery is excellent. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, is, uh, unfortunately, you have a stroke as well. I mean, a stroke. So yeah. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah? OK. Yes. Uh, this question is for Smetha, uh, from Smetha. Do people have aphasia? Sorry. So, do people who have aphasia have more problems with language processing than with vocal cords? Even people with well-functioning vocal cords may have apraxia because it all depends on brain, not vocal cords. Um, and I think this is related. Um, I also heard of apraxia. Is it related to aphasia? Is apraxia more of muscular issues with voice? There's so, a, another question, uh, uh, follow-up. Okay. Um, e again, everybody who has aphasia also has a lot of stuff in their head. So yes, aphasia is the big pro Tom, but a lot of small is like apraxia and disabout and speaking and not speaking and everything else. Sorry. Do you understand or or, or you don't? Not really. Uh, or, sorry, do, uh, my, my fault or no? Like my fault is my fault or is you still? Uh, I'll repeat the question, uh, the second question. Have you heard? Does, so uh, the, 
I think is apraxia. Have you heard of apraxia? Yes. Okay. I have uh, apraxia. Is it related to a vision? You have apraxia. Yes. yes. And you have apraxia as well? Yes. Um, and is apraxia more of a muscular issue or is it a cognitive issue? Everybody, every word is a different words, so it's hard to, is for me it's, uh, it's very, a lot of stuff. Meaning, I don't know whether practice, I think it's, it's uh, it is a syllable, it's the words and the brain is, I don't know. <laughs> um, You know what? I'm going to email with you, and I can email with a lot of um, lists with a website. How about that? Okay. And then uh, the other question is if you couldn't use this voice, you could write. Uh, or you could be right. No. Again, everybody is different, but uh, no, for me, no. But I, um, for Three years, I was able, I was not able to write, except yes or no or whatever. Um, and then I was, I was in, I was in studying. Nuance Dragon is speaking, and word. Nuance Dragon and I was studying, and now I'm emailing Nuance Dragon. So I speak, and the compu the Nuance Dragon listens and writes. Uh, also, do, uh, I I have the website for Nuance Dragon, so you can see. Okay. Yes. Were you into all this borderline suicidal sports <laughs> stuff before your injury? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, because I was working. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now, after the show, I was not working, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, was the, the word play of, like you were mentioning, cat and dog, um, is that also a symptom of a failure to have sort of re like related words Correct. connected like that? Yes. In my head, I know is dog, 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 dogs, and out says cat, mouse, rock, you know, or so I was, I am thinking for like five or ten minutes trying to say the dogs, you know, but everybody, every, for me it's different every day or every hour, so yeah. Yeah. You said that you use dragon naturally speaking, which is um, the, the Anderson use it for dictation for emails. Correct. Do you use any other voice assistants? I know there's Siri on the iPhone. There's Alexa, mm -hmm. um, Amazon's. Correct. Uh, the only so the the only thing is, Nuance Dragon is better than most of a less, more than, less than Amazon or uh, Siri, but also uh, after the stroke I have, is difficult to do speak, but a lot of, pe a lot of people who have disability is, talk a lot, so they don't, they like, it's fine with me, like it's there, do you understand, or not really, okay good. Um, after the stroke for me, I have Nuance Dragon because Nuance Dragon is best than a lot of website with Nuance, a dis uh, word t to talk uh, for me. Um, but you uh, is, n is speaking is no, no problem. Got it. Yeah. Do you understand? I think I understand. Okay. Can, may I repeat? Yeah, yeah please, okay. please. Um, that you have... Uh, the dragon actually speaking is better for taking your time or for articulating what you want to say that 
tell me if I'm like reading into what you're saying. Don't worry. Um, Don't worry. The Alexa, in, in my experience, speaking personally, the mm -hmm. Alexa will like turn off if you don't say anything <laughs> okay. within a few seconds, or that it, it like it expects a specific way of speaking. Okay. Um, is is your experience that you don't speak in a way that Alexa expects or that Siri expects? Um, no. This your uh, the the website I don't know, but one or two uh, one or two a long time ago I was looking for uh, text to speech, yeah. and I like Nuance Dragon. Not a lot of people, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of websites are not so nice, except for Nuance Dragon. Yeah, sure. yes. Sure. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, no uh, laptop or desktop is free, and uh, sorry, laptop is one ten one zero zero dollars, but it's best. It's great for me. So yeah. Uh, is that one hundred dollars? Yes, one hundred uh, roughly. In in, in Apple, T PC is like cheap, <laughs> but yeah. Yes. Um, from Smetha, if you couldn't talk for a year and could only say one word, awesome. Yes, I know. Um, how are you able to communicate if you could write or use Dragon? Correct. Uh, this is very very good. Uh, basically. Um, my friends, a lot of friends, go and speak with me and wor is working, working, working for like five or ten minutes and half the time, a long time ago, half the time is, I don't, they doesn't understand for me and half the time is ice cream, is, you know, speaking, but it's ten year, ten minutes waiting and struggling what is the speaking and then is for example ice cream sorry do you understand or not really yeah uh ten years ago all i can say is michael so a lot of people friends a lot of friends i'm is best friends with me working try to understand what it, it firm is speaking. So for example, in the hospital, 10 minutes, I'm struggling with, in my head, ice cream, and out says and he, they was struggling to understand what is the situation until I is, oh, I see, ice cream, right? Good? Okay. During that time, could you mine things out? No. Uh, well, one hand is, is not so much. And the other one is, I mean, it's there, but I, no. <laughs> uh, also, is language is gone as well mm. in, because uh, th I don't have the information. Same idea with, uh, email or book or whatever is gone until I am now I'm struggling with books or you know stuff I got do you understand or yeah can, can you use like uh, augmented communication like picture or symbol yes to communicate to a lot of people who has a facial yes you they have dictionary or whatever but it, it's hard but it's there yeah yes and it's still progressively getting better for me for yes. you it is absolutely yeah um but so it's a very interesting half of them in the hospital everybody in the hospital with aphasia uh half of them in the after the hospital, lock the door, uh, lock 
they have they are going to the apartment and locks the door and don't come out ever more. Um, and half of them do try and succeed to speak less than before. Um, but it's very interesting and sad is a lot of people, I, I said, I want to like smash the people because I just wanted to say, come, learn, 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 because it's free or it's Medicaid and it's, let's go, have a good time. And besides, it's have like, it's fun, sort of, but yeah. So yeah. All right. Well, no. All right. Thank you very, very much. Really, really. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'm good. Well, we, uh, I'm Cameron, by the way. Thank you, Avi. Um, no and uh, really appreciate your sharing your experience with us today. And no we will be in touch so that we can share some of the resources that you yes. uh, described with the meetup group. Um, and we'll make sure that the contact information that you want to share is available to all of you. Um, speaking of all of you, thank you all for coming today. Uh, I see some familiar faces and some new faces, so it's great to have everyone here. I wanted to also say thank you to ThoughtBot, um, who's hosting us tonight. This is their space. And um, uh, to Jolly and the Internet Society of New York, uh, Jolly does the live streaming for us uh, and recording. And Mirror by Night and White Cook Captioning. Mirror by Night is the uh, our, our wonderful captioner behind these captions here. She's uh, uh, joining us remotely. Um, am I missing anything, Thomas? Level Access. Level Access has been an ongoing um, uh, sponsor of ours, uh, and we're very grateful for their contribution, too. So um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you.